Okay, uh, I'm trying to do a different alignment procedure. Um, normally you would uh, power up your mount, uh, go through that it's index, etc. put your date in, um, slew, you know, the first star, the second star, except done. What I think I want to try is um, go through the initial setups here. Local time, 17.09. And set two star alignment, I just want to do a, um, a quick align, I think. Because then it's not doing anything, it just thinks that it's pointing north or, you know, at this moment in time. And um, what I would like to do at this point in time is, it doesn't know any better. I am going to come over here, connect the telescope. I couldn't connect the telescope until I got through a polar alignment procedure. So I'm going to connect. So as far as it knows, it thinks that I'm pointing somewhere up north. Right? And uh, but what I want to do, because I already know that... Um, you know, in a prior uh, <laughs> attempt at this, it wants to shoot at Vega and Altair. So I'm going to go with a um, let's slew to Vega and we'll first slew there. sort of close but I'm trying to break the system here um, if I were to come over here thinks I'm there but I'm not nowhere near there I'm gonna do a plate salt and uh, what I've got going here is I have my Zoe guiding camera hooked up to the imager and my imaging camera camera hooked up to the auto guider <laughs> and the reason why I've done that is the field of view and sensitivity of the ISO camera uh, is way quicker than waiting for a couple minute exposure from my clunky uh, imager. You know, I can get uh, this plate solve to, to work in like, you know, 15 seconds. So, but let's see if I'm close enough field view wise so that it can still uh, get me over there to Vega. So... What I want to do is come back to telescope, and we are going to say close loop slew. Let's pop these guys open. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> was it so? So bad pointing them in the trees. Okay, so that's looking promising as far as Vega being centered. here confirms that. Now here's the learning part. That was easy. I can certainly sync uh, on the sky X, but I want to see if I can do a align. Alignment stars. Replace unassigned. Sounds good to me. I don't want to center Archonon, so I don't know how it picks these stars, so maybe that's what I gotta learn. That's what this may not work out tonight. Uh, yeah, it's Akronar that's asking for, which is not where I'm at. 
wonder if I go to stars. It's going to, you know, mess up, but at least think that it's there. And, uh, let me take a picture, see what that looks like. Yeah, see, it's, it took me back to that original position, and so, um, I got, probably have to think my way out of this, but, uh, let me plate solve it again. Paddle still reads Vega here, so you know it knows it's moved around, but it's the last pointed object. Okay, the screen looks good. Let's go back, back, align, alignment stars, replace unassigned, enter. Now it says center Vega. Whoa. Okay, we're going to do that. We're going to enter, align Vega. Okay, so then if I use, the, you know, with that same logic, I'm going to uh, back it up. I'm going to do stars, name stars, and we'll roll through the menu. And close. Now thanks, it's all there. Now I'm getting my evening uh, clouds. That's why I'm out here playing around. All right, so now it says that uh, we're at Altair. Now, though, if I come back here and do a Altair. Find, center, plate solve. So effectively, it's, it's asking to center Altair, and I'm interjecting the plate solve for that step. And... Uh, centered up there, so I'm going to go back, back, align, align the stars, replace unassigned, sounds wonderful, center altair, perfect, and align altair. Okay, so now I'm going to go back and do align, uh, I don't want alignment stars, undo sync, sync, Polar align, enter, display the align. Wow, that's worth a picture. So <clears throat> it says my alignment is uh, one and a half minutes azimuth and about three and a half minutes of uh, altitude. When I came out <laughs> in my first failure of the evening, um, I went through a normal polar line and then I tried to replace uh, the values as the method. Um, but just the normal two-star alignment just with me uh, 
navigating with cursor. You know, I was, uh, uh, well, I can tell you. I'll bring, that, bring it back up here. Yeah, it was uh, one degree uh, forty-five minutes uh, in azimuth, and then uh, fifteen minutes in uh, altitude. So this method, at least mathematically, is better to start your CGM up. Just do a quick align. Use the named stars function so you could point to any star really uh, that's convenient because I have a lot of trees just <laughs> immediately outside my observatory so I got a I got a limited view of how many alignment stars I get to actually choose from and so a lot of times it telescope will say well here's a star it'll slew and I'll say nope if you know basically the escape out pick a new star and move on to the next one until I get through that two star alignment process um, but uh, this this could be a winner because the plate solving is quick with the um, Zorro Zorro how do you say it uh, camera hooked up as the imaging tab. Um, I was going to take a picture here to capture that too before I forget. Okay, here we go. Bam. All right. And uh, I'll back out of that. So, yeah. So from an alignment procedure point of view, I could use this again. I'll probably end the video and, and then, you know, just write it down so that I have my standard steps that I walk through. But I, but I think, but I think I uh, understand the principle of it now is, is that you'd set your CGM up in its home position. You go through the startup, um, but instead of selecting two star alignment, you just say quick align. You go to named stars, you navigate, in, in my case, I went to Vega. Uh, then I could switch over to camera mode. I can do a plate solve. It basically centers, which would be the normal cursor task that uh, the controller is asking you to do. Um, and, uh, and then go back into the replace alignment uh, star menu and just add it in. And then pick a new name star, navigate, plate solve, um, go back in the menu, do the second replace for the unassigned star. And uh, you're ready to go. Hey, something new tonight.